Hey guys, so today I'm gonna make for you a delicious dish with paneer or Indian curry cheese and spinach. This popular dish is known as parak paneer or spinach with cheese. Now this may sound like a weird combination, but this is just a classic and this dish originates from Punjab in Northern India. Now this is a really simple toned down version of the recipe with barely any spices and it mostly has these aromatics from cumin, ginger, and some chilies. So let's get started on this dish right now. So first and foremost, you're gonna need some spinach. I'm using about 800 grams of spinach. And don't worry, this is not too much. If you work with spinach, you'll know that it really shrinks down rapidly. And this should be enough for two to four people. Next, you're gonna need some paneer. Now this over here is some homemade paneer which I made with some milk and buttermilk. I've just defrosted it this morning and this looks amazing and I can't wait to have it. Homemade paneer is the best. In case it's available to you fresh in your nearby market, then that's perfect. But I really recommend either getting it fresh or homemade. I've tried the packaged products and they don't, it doesn't have the same magic that homemade paneer or fresh paneer has. You're also gonna need some oil, green chilies, fresh ginger, salt, cumin seeds, and some hing or asafoetida. It has a tremendous amount of flavor. So first, let's get started and prepare our spinach. So I have de-stemmed the spinach. I've just cut the stems off and I have some water boiling right now. And before we put it in the water, Let's wash this spinach up and then we're gonna cook this for a few minutes in our boiling water. So I washed the spinach with the help of a colander and now we're gonna put our spinach into our boiling water and cook this for a few minutes. So here my water is boiling and I'm gonna add in my spinach. I'm just gonna make sure that the spinach is all in the water. Now let the water come back to a boil and cook this for a few minutes. So it's been about five to six minutes. And you can see how spinach has become darker, darker in color. And that's what we're looking for. We don't want to overcook this. So now is a perfect time to drain this and we want to let the spinach cool down. So I've added the spinach after it's cooled down a little bit into my food processor here. And now we want to puree it. So I'm going to add in a little bit of water to help this grind up properly. So now let's start making our paneer and here I have a pan heating on medium heat. Now I'm going to add in some oil. You can use some ghee if you have some. Ghee goes really well. It always adds a lot of flavor. I'm just using some olive oil here. And now we're going to add in some of our cumin seed. Let this sizzle, our green chili. Now be careful since they have seeds and they may pop. Some hing and finally our ginger which I finely chopped. So this is basically our chalk or kind of like a setup to kind of saute our aromatics before we add in our spinach. You can see the ginger is cooked nicely, the chilies are getting a nice sear. And now we don't want to overcook this. This smells incredible right now. And now let's add in our spinach. Give it a nice stir. And bring it up to a simmer. So now I've lowered the heat a little bit since it started to spit because it's so thick. And now we don't want to cook this too much. We want to preserve that amazing dark green color of the spinach and overcooking it will kind of make this kind of a murky green and you don't want that. So cook this for three to four minutes on low to medium low heat. And now we're gonna finally add in our paneer. So gently add it, just give it a nice stir. Now you want the paneer to really absorb all that spinach, become all soft when it's heated through. And then we're going to adjust with some seasoning with some salt and this dish is ready to eat. So now let's get started on making our breads. So today we're making some roti breads and that goes really well with the spinach and paneer or palak paneer. So here I have some alta flour and I made a dough with some water. It's really simple. 
and I've taken a little ball I'll take some of this flour make sure it's covered because we don't want it to stick and now we want to roll it out into a thin disc so now that's ready to go on our pan so now let's start making our roti breads here I have a tawa pan heating on medium to medium high heat and tawa pan is an Indian cookware which is mostly used to cook breads now this pan can go on really high heats and this smoking that you see on the pan that's what you need to cook a roti really well now if you don't have this don't worry you can always cook it on a non-stick pan just make sure to not heat it above medium because that damages the pan so now we're gonna start by putting our bread a disc right on the pan here and let this cook now as you can notice on my left here I have a rack which is heating on high heat now this part is simulating the traditional way of finishing rotis where we finish it right on top of a naked flame this roti bread now is starting to get these little bubbles and that's an indication that it's beginning to cook I'm gonna flip it on the other side and see these nice brown marks and that adds a lot of flavor so both sides have some color Let's now finish it on our rack right here and as you can see it's gonna puff up and that's gonna add a lot of flavor it's gonna make it so fluffy that you're gonna love this bread so let this get some nice char marks and finish it with some ghee that's the official way of finishing roti ghee or butter butter works really well as well so there you have it guys that's my palak paneer or spinach with cheese with the side of the most amazing homemade roti or chapati and I love the extra kick from some green chilies so I'm gonna be munching on that with my meal feel free to try and having some raw onion and that's a really popular side that goes with many Indian dishes I personally am not a fan of raw onions but everybody in my family is so give it a try and I hope you guys would love this dish subscribe to my channel and you can see other recipes which I've done in the past. You can subscribe to me by clicking right here. And don't forget to check out my series on spices called Let's Make It Spicy to learn more about the spices which I've used in this dish. See you guys again.